Okay, so happy new year. It is actually 2022 now. It's kind of amazing how that happens or how did that happen? But anyway, it did. We've been through another cycle and we get a new number on these years. <laughs> and it's great because it's definitely winter and everything is at that sleeping time, that time of rebirth. And so, and so the outer world, and many of you are in snow and snow is the, our water element and everything is peaceful and quiet. It's a very quiet time, a time of, of that sleep, but sleep also brings dreams. And so this is the time for dreaming. It's like the end of one day and the beginning of a new day. And so this is that season of sleep, sleep and dreaming and deciding what it is that you are going to create. What is it? If you're a gardener, of course, this is when you'd be drawing plans for your garden. Um, and so energetically, that's where we've come from. We've, we've come from a, a past, a, a much more tied to the natural world way of living. And so this is a natural time to be, to be creating into the future. So New Year's is traditionally when we actually do that. This is the time when we actually want to look at the past. What about the past year? Um, and what about the, the past year? Would you want to let go of? What didn't serve you? And so if I was a gardener, it might mean that I don't think that those tomatoes grew very well. <laughs> and it was too shady in that spot or the, the soil wasn't good there. So there'd be something that I would be thinking about. And it's like, oh, let's move. Let's start the raspberry section over here this year. So, so that kind of like, what didn't serve you? But that's not on the outer. We want to think about that on the inner. What inside of us, what attitude, what, what on the inside would we like to change? Because change in our outer world always starts from our inner world. And so to make room for the new, so if I'm going to transplant some raspberries, I'm going to have to, you know, move some strawberries maybe. <laughs> so, so we have to look at what it is that we, that we want to let go of. What, in, what inside of us um, do, we, do we want to change? What no longer serves us? Um, are we tired of conflict? Are we tired of being afraid of conflict? You know, so, so looking inside what hasn't served you in the past. Um, and the holidays are great for that because so many times people have interactions with family that they, that they found unsatisfying or, um, well, that, that didn't seem to serve them. And maybe that didn't serve anybody else. So Lots of ways. So just taking, you know, a little look inside at what it is. If there is one thing inside of you that you'd like to let go of. And just close your eyes for a minute. Let's just think about that together. What is there in our inner world? what may be knee-jerk reaction, emotional reaction that we have, or maybe a chronic feeling, like I'm really ready to let go of this depression. Um, this upset with perhaps someone in your life. So, so letting yourself feel
feel into that. And it's good to have one thing. You can have a long list, but in this, for this right now, we're gonna do a meditation. Let's just really take one thing that, that you'd like to let go of. And really it's like planting a seed. It's like, this is your dream this year. If I, in this next year could let go of this, my life would change. And if your inner life changes, your outer life is gonna reflect that. And your outer world will also become lighter and brighter. And that could mean many different things. <laughs> relationships could change. You could have new relationships. Um, you could have more prosperity. And so when you find that one thing, and who would you be without that? Let's take a moment to think about who would I be without this? Because in some way, the old has always served us. It has protected us. And so who would I be without that protection? Who would I be if I was more vulnerable? What if I let myself be more open-hearted? Would that be, would that be something I'm really willing to do? Am I willing to let myself be vulnerable? And so feeling, feeling into that, that maybe all of these things that no longer serve us are actually things that block our heart. There are ways that somehow we have chosen to protect ourselves, to protect our, our hearts somehow so we don't want to be vulnerable. And are you willing? Are you willing to step out this year and really be more of you? Maybe do it gently. It's like, okay, I'm gonna open my heart, but I think I'm gonna take a year to do that. I don't have to do that instantly. I can take my time. And who would you be without, without those walls around your protection around your heart? Who would you be without that? And so just, just looking at that, if that is a piece of your inner world that changes, how does your outer world change? Because it's an act of bravery. That's a willingness to step out. That's a, it's a choice that um, I'm willing to be more of my authentic self in the world. I'm going to let go of my old patterns and become more, more me and just willing to, to be that and to be that without being afraid or being afraid, but having the courage. Um, what's that called? Daring greatly, Brene Brown. You know, is this a year that you're going to dare? Um, are you going to be daring greatly to be who you are, to be your authentic self? And if you are, you're willing then to bring more light into the world because who you are is light. And when you put these walls up for protection, you're dimming your light. You're not sharing that in the world. And so, and so I'm encouraging. And as I say that, I hear some you know, guidance around me, voices around me that are, are inviting you to, to be more of yourself in the world. It's a time of rebirth in this world. This is a time of, of deep transformation for all beings and for our world. And so there's, 
so much shift and there's uncertainty and so many things that are happening and change and change that looks scary and change that can look wonderful, but change and all change makes people nervous. And, and so know that we're in this time of change, but we're also in a time of rebirth. And so the darkest hour is before the dawn. This is, you know, kind of a winter time. This is a time of change, of darkness, of being in the womb of rebirth and not seeing what is to come. And what is to come may depend on you and your courage, your daring greatly to be who you are, your willingness to, to be a light, to hold a light, to radiate your, the truth of your being in the world, that you are important to what is coming, that you, that, that you are not just important, you are key. You are absolutely foundational to what is coming. And for everyone to realize that, that, that change, change um, is, something that is on the inside and your willingness to be, to change and to be light with the light within also allows this outer light to, and our world to, to change. So as we are, who we are inside, um, inside of us reflects into our world all around us. And we are the change that we want. We are the light and the beauty and the transformation that we are looking for in the outer world. And so we can't use our old patterns. We can't rely on the old to take us where we wanna go. We already know where the old leads. And so this is a time of letting go of the old and stepping into something new. No matter who you are, no matter how old you are, no matter, no matter what, is holding that light as we go forward. Okay, so guys are like, Okay, and let's just give us a little message, maybe five minutes from, from the guides, and then we're gonna do meditation. Of course, we're here for the meditation, but there's gonna be a, a message from the guides before they take you on that meditation. Good, and we are here to remind you of you, of who you are and the power of you. Sometimes that's called the power of one. And, and, and sorry. the power of one and how one can change the world, whether it is that hundredth monkey effect or that percentage of people that shift that you are what is inside of you reflects totally into that world around you you each and every one of you are magnificent beings who have had the courage to come into this plane, to be an expression of this plane at a time of change. At a time when the earth beneath your feet, so to speak, metaphorically, can be 
shifting. And there can be appearances that can cause fear that can come to you and beliefs in the future and the future of humanity and the future of this world that can cause even indeed what we would call terror. And so we are asking that you, each and every one of you, continually reach for this higher note. Know that you are in a time of something new that will be born, that will have more light and more consciousness going forward. That you have the opportunity now to help usher in a new age and to hold that higher note, that higher dream of a new age, even with doom and gloom in the forecast. For you are in a time of rebirth and, and rebirth, birth and rebirth. And so once something new is being born, there is always a struggle. There is always a time of challenge and difficulty and you may find yourself in that time now. And so we are assuring you to look to the light that humanity has been on a brave course for, well, such a long time, so many thousands and thousands of year for the millennia and for the whole transformation of the earth. And to remember not to think of your earth as some kind of a happy accident that just somehow all of this came together to have you in the world that you find yourself in this modern world. This is not simply a happy accident. It is not the survival of the fittest. It is a divine plan. And your world is not apart from that divine plan, it is not against the divine plan. It is about you becoming you. It's about you discovering your inner divine plan and embodying that. Good, and we thank you. And we will be taking you on a meditative journey as your part in this in a moment. Okay, Whew. that feels good. Okay, time to reframe our world in the positive and look outside if you can and see the beautiful, the sky and whatever that is and nature around you and go out for a walk after this, if you can. Um, and just feel the earth and feel, this is coming in channel now, feel the support of the earth, feel nature that is going through so much too. And yet it's there and it's beautiful and it's, supporting you and it's supporting your divine plan that this is all a divine plan okay there's our reframe let's hold that great okay so we'll do a meditation now okay It always takes me a moment to set up my music behind it. So just bear with me for a second here. Okay. So 
always a few steps. Step, step, step. There we go. More steps. Okay. Wendy, would you like Mario to record this just to make sure you have a backup just in case? Um, say again, John? Would you like uh, Mario to record this just in case you need a backup just in case? Somebody... That'd be great, Mario. Yeah, if you could record this to have an extra backup. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can't hear this. This is interesting. We can. It sounds good here. You can. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, that's very. That's nice... How is that level, John? Sounds perfect to me. Okay. Interesting. I can't hear it at all. The Zoom likes to change things, so. <laughs> okay. Welcome. And blessings to you all for being here. And we are, as the guides, wishing you a most wonderful coming year. For indeed, we see light and blessings for each one of you. Good. And beginning by breathing. Letting your breath be full and deep. And smiling and appreciating yourself in this moment for taking this time to reset your energy for the coming year. That breath deep and full and paying attention to the breath, letting your awareness drop out of the mind and into that breath and the breath coming in and filling you up and following it as it lets go, and moves out. So the awareness is deep down in your body following that expansion, that exhale, and having a sense of peace with the breath. It'd be a calm, even, balanced inhalation and exhalation. Notice how the breath surrounds the heart as the lungs expand. Notice the ripple effect through the body as the diaphragm drops until you have a sense of your whole body breathing.
feel how as the breath expands, the body expands and ripples outward, creates a wave in the space around you. And then notice with your exhalation that there's also a kind of an expansion the breath letting go that ripples out around you, that you are connected not just to the body, but to that space that you are in, the room that you are sitting in, the air around you, and that you are breathing in from that space around you. And in that you are connected to that space. So that outer becomes your inner. And that is the space that we may consider to be air, that you, you may consider to be air and to be oxygen that we can call life force energy, that you are in the space of life force energy. And as that life force is around you, it is within you. And you are becoming one with this life force energy. And as you become one with this life force energy, becoming aware of how you are breathing with the body, becoming aware of the space below you of the earth and breathing in from the earth beneath your feet. There's a quality of energy that as you breathe in connects you to the earth and there's a deeper vitality so imagine breathing in also through the soles of your feet, gathering this deeper vitality, nourishing, just as the plants have roots down in the earth. They're the qualities, the earth bringing in their water, bringing in minerals from the soil and the food that the plant eats. And feeling this yourself, that there are energies here of the earth that reflect this, allowing yourself to bring this in. Knowing that also above you through the crown of the head, just like the plant is bringing in light to nourish the plant, that you also bring in light through the crown of your head. And that indeed the whole head is receiving the light of heaven just as those branches of the tree and becoming conscious of that with each breath that you take. And then there are also the powers of the directions, the north, the south, the east and the west and the elements that are associated with these directions that we can also be conscious that we are breathing in, that you are breathing in at this time. And that through this, that you are becoming more connected with each breath you take the world around you with the life force energy of this world. And this is the same air that you are breathing in of creation. It is the same breath that your ancestors were breathing. It is the atmosphere of your earth.
ancestors of the dinosaurs of the formation of the earth and indeed your universe. And this breath, this air, this timeless, and it will be eternal from wherever it came from and to wherever it is going. And in that eternal, you are in one moment and that connects you to the divine breath, to spirit, to consciousness, and consciousness that is coming into matter with each breath you take. With each breath, spirit joins matter. Consciousness joins matter. In you, within you, there is that sacred joining, that sacred marriage of spirit and matter, of yin and yang, of light and dark, coming together, the forces that hold together each particle and create your solid forms, the molecular structures, the atomic structures that create your world and that your breath is bringing consciousness into matter. The blood flows into each cell of your body, giving you consciousness in each cell of your body, awakeness, awareness on this plane. And when you stop breathing, that awareness is fleeting, that consciousness is fleeting. And so your breath, that window of opportunity to be in this world. And as you breathe here, becoming aware of that light from above surrounding you, and an even greater light joining you with your guides, the angelic presences around you beings of light around you, perhaps ancestors here with you. And feel now this great force, letting go of the breath, and letting your awareness go here to this space. Energized now with your awareness, with your consciousness. The great beings that are here. And taking this moment, this sense of presence with you to offer that which you are ready to let go of. To the universe that perhaps what has felt like a piece of protection, but an old pattern, something that you know is holding you back from being the true light that you are. You are letting that go with this willingness, this courage to step forward. And there's always 
some courage involved in this. Feeling all of the support. And we will tell you for each one of you, there is so much support and love here for you. You are a precious being, beloved and radiant. And we invite you to take this opportunity to bring in more light now. Letting this light in, breathing it into your heart and letting any darkness shrouding your heart dissolve. Smiling to that which had protected you and letting it know that it no longer serves you and letting it go with love and gratitude as you fill yourself with light. Letting the patterns dissolve As you do this, become aware of how something comes in, that you have a new alignment with your soul and your spirit. That is somehow able to embody within you. And that with that embodiment, that you are now becoming a brighter light. And seeing or feeling that brighter light within you. Your inner world Coming more bright and beautiful. And knowing that as you are light and willing to shine your light, that you may also feel more vulnerable in the world. And so this light takes courage to shine. It takes a commitment and a dedication. And yet with a commitment and a dedication, there is something that becomes more solid. And so now, if you like, take you a moment to feel and to speak into that inner dedication and commitment. 
to being that change in the inner that you would like to see reflected in the outer. Good, and as you feel that commitment going forward, allowing that to shine outward in time, radiate outward into your next month, seeing that light and placing that light and feeling your radiance in events, smiling to yourself, setting that light, going forward, any moments of time, let your light be there through the winter holding that light into the spring. Into your summer. Fall. Into the winter through the entire year. And as you do that, feel something coming also back into you that you can experience your light through this transformation and growth of the coming year. And the gifts that that brings you. The inner and the outer. And as we hold this light for all of 2022, together, Become aware of a great blessing of light coming in. I'm holding this light for humanity and for all of nature and the earth itself. Inviting more light through this moment, through this portal, to spread around this earth plane realm. Bringing the forces of change and transformation. Good, and now taking a moment to receive the blessing of all of the beings. 
who are so grateful to you for being here today and working with them. Good, and now receiving perhaps a symbol or a gift or a message from the beings of light just for you. Good. And then take a moment to thank your guides. Those beings of light who personally watch over you. Gratitude to the beings of light, gratitude to the ancestors and to the earth itself for this precious gift of a human life. And holding in your hearts love and compassion for all beings. And we thank you for being here with us and doing this work together today. And breathing, putting your hands on your hearts. Taking that in. Bring your hands back down now to the lower abdomen, breathing deeply, breathing here. Feeling that connection to the earth. Feeling that connection to all of life. Good, and thank you, and blessings for 2022. Okay. Okay, well, that was hard hitting. <laughs> I, think, I think the guides knocked it out of the park on that one. Um, that was my experience. Anyone want to put anything in the chat that they'd like to um, share of their experience. Or really any messages from your guide that you think that would be, um, you know, what you took away from that. Maybe a few words that would be, um, Maybe, well, let's do this. Let's everybody put in the chat their, their wish or their blessing or their message to the world going forward. Okay, what they received.
Okay, so I'm feeling very loving and soft. The message, I felt such a sweet connection to nature and prana and oneness with all. Thank you. Okay, another one. My message was simply the words trust. Mm. B, love, <laughs> ease and trust. I am so worth the attention I give myself. Mm. No judgment was what came to me. Good. Yes. I received white, oh, this is white, white lilies in my lower Dantian as my message. Beautiful. Okay, be good to yourself. Stay in the present more and more. For me was a word, courage. Hmm, yes. Be a beacon of light. Being in the light in my heart, being fully me, I am worthy. Oh, that was awesome, Wendy. Very powerful, thank you. My message is to live from fullness, not from lack. I was releasing my atta attachment to restricting myself. Nice. Um, it was a perfect, okay, it was a perfect message so that going forward, I bring my light out into the world with ease, grace, vulnerability, and courage. Good. Okay, prosper. Lean in and trust yourself fully. And I was given a beautiful gift. It was a crown of numerous precious stones. Be my authentic self. Lighten the struggle. Release. Wow. Beautiful messages. Okay. That was a stunner. <laughs> like you. Thank you. White light connected. Endless going and receiving of love. Wow. Okay. Okay, some more. Trust the wisdom of light within and be willing to share the light I feel within um, out into the world, yes. I was thinking of a dark room and the cage that might be whatever it is that is holding us back and realizing that there is no lock on the door in the first place, that we can walk out at any time we choose. And as we choose, Wow. What is the highest good? We are protected in the paths we walk. Oh, that is so beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> my goodness. So many amazing New Year's messages. You can just kind of like bask in the light of, of um, the light that you're all sharing and that we're sharing together in this. Yes. Yes, yes. I like the cage and that we there's no lock on the door. It's just for us to walk out. Yes, we think that it's protecting us, but we're living in a cage. That is a great analogy. Yes, it's very powerful. Wow, okay. Mm. Okay, well. And also just a moment to, to invite people who haven't, that we have a channeling course coming up next week, which is a way to get in touch with more light and light body course that starts on Monday. So um, and then a, a shamanic Chinese medicine course, but many of you have taken all those. So, <laughs> so I love this. I love the community that is here today being a part of this. Excuse me, Wendy, is there a discount for students who want to redo? Oh yeah, always. Yes, it's the discounts are on, on the websites, yes. Yeah. But I'm just so happy, you know, everyone, 
it feels like everybody's got some great messages and and light so and there was just so much um the guides just had so much light that they really wanted to share <laughs> spread that around so that was that was really beautiful Okay, so I think I was going to thank everyone for being here and being a part of this. So lots of love to everyone. Have a beautiful day. Like I said, go out there, enjoy the beautiful world that we live in and feel yourself as a part of this world. So thank you. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy, happy New Year. Year. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.